All right, what is going on? Welcome back to this Detroit Pistons My League. Now, before we get started, you already know I'm being yeah, a bit of a different setup. Same room, obviously, but my setup just elsewhere. It just moved, but doesn't matter. Content's still gonna be the same. Back on 2K. Now, what I have been doing is I've been uploading 2K every other day, and then I've been uploading 2K, Apex, 2K, Apex. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that up, but it's just a way to kind of refresh in because uploading 2K every single day gets extremely tiring, especially if it's all like my career because eh, it ain't that fun. But I enjoy it anyways. Back on 2K, we're back on this Pistons My League. It's been a bit, but this is gonna be a big episode. The off season. We were 27 and 55, I believe. One of the, if not the worst team in the league. Uh, no, we were the second worst team in the league, right behind the Chicago Bulls. So we have a chance for a top pick in this draft. Here, here is the playoffs. I'm just gonna sim right through because we don't care. Doesn't matter to us. The Heat are, the Heat almost swept the Sixers, but they went and the Heat. Oh, they blew a 3-1 lead. I'm a Heat fan, if you don't know. They just blew like a 3-1 lead to the cell, the box. I mean, damn, the Heat went far. When they get Gallo? Oh, did freaking Butler get hurt? This is the only thing I'm intrigued about. Did Butler get hurt? They only won 35 games. Yeah, the East was really bad. I'm guessing... Yeah, they got Gallo. That's actually really, really dope. I'm guessing Butler got hurt. Yeah. Oh, he must got hurt in that Sixers series. Yup, he tore his calf muscle. That's that's dope. Wow, they almost beat the Bucks too. Alright, well, nonetheless, this doesn't involve us. Uh, Nets Rocket Finals. That's interesting. Similar with the playoffs and the Rocket sweep them. James Harden and Westbrook win a ring together. Prove the doubters wrong. Now, this is where it's going to get fun. The offseason. Player retirements. Let's see who retired. Vince Carter, obviously, at the age of 44, retires from the NBA. Zach Randolph, Haslam, JJ Redick, JR Smith. Damn, JR Smith retires. That's tough. No one really, like, too big. Hall of Fame, obviously, Vince Carter. League meetings, I'm going to reject all of them. League realignment, doesn't matter. Draft lottery, this is where... Why are the Cavs above us? We, oh, we must have the same record. Must have the same record. All right, I'm actually going to, you know, actually look at this. I'll see you guys when something actually, like, big changes in the draft lottery. All right, so we made it to the top five, and nothing has changed so far. OKC has the projected fifth overall pick, and it goes to the Bulls, who was projected number one in OKC, is now in the top three. That's our first chance i mean first time something has changed and now the Cavs are projecting number four of course we only moved down one spot but of course we of course we moved down five consecutive seasons no winning record that's about to change wow who just jumped up i already forgot who jumped up the thunder jumped up all the way to three they went from five to three that leaves the Cavs and the magic the cavaliers can they get number one again no, they're going to get the number two overall pick. And that leaves the Orlando Magic with the number one overall pick in the NBA draft. I am going to keep number four. I don't see a reason for me to move up. Damn, I mean, we didn't get screwed over like the Bulls. The Bulls went from one to five. We only went from three to four. So that's it. We got the fourth pick. Not bad. I'm definitely going to keep the win, Casey. I like the win, Casey. Um, head scout. We're going to obviously sign this dude because... Why not? Train are fine. Everything else is really fine. I'm perfectly fine with everything else. Now we'll go to, I guess, straight to the NBA draft. We don't really want to see, like, pre-draft workouts. NBA of draft time. Before we get into it, anyone I want to trade. I have contemplated trading Christian Wood because he did have a somewhat disappointing season compared to last. He averaged 12 and 7 last season. He only averaged 11 and 8. But I do have high hopes. He's only 25. It's only That was only, what, his third year in the league? Yeah, it was his third year in the league. So we're going to keep him. Jay Rich definitely going to keep. I don't think... Oh, yeah. Taj Gibson we might want to move. So we might want to move Taj Gibson. Derek Jones. That's... That's interesting. We do have free agents, obviously. Uh, Derek Jones is an interesting trade. But this is realistic. I guess the Grizzlies signed him. I'm not... That doesn't really look, seem like a realistic trade. Like, who's their small forward position? Yeah, they'd be... I mean, Kyle Anderson. They'd be losing out. On a better small forward. Their shooting guard position sucks. And, and they're perfectly fine at power forward. So this seems like a stupid trade for them. So I guess we'll keep Taj Gibson for now. NBA draft time. I'm definitely going to draft a player. I'm not going to trade the pick. But we do have the fourth pick and that's it. We had no seconds. Uh, I could try and trade Taj for like a late, late pick. Honestly, I think Taj can be traded for a late pick. 
So where is he? Did I already pass him? Taj Gibson, right there. So let's see. A team, maybe like 15, 16, like a borderline playoff team. Uh, like 17 from the Hawks would be interesting. 15 from the Hornets. They did make the playoffs. Wait, they wouldn't be a borderline playoff team. They'd be in the playoffs. What am I thinking? Uh, Knicks, definitely not. We got it from him. Uh, 29, no. 19 isn't bad, but I'm not sure if the Pacers need a power forward. Uh, I don't want 30th. I mean, he would make sense for the Rock. What do you mean? I don't know. The Thunder, though. The 16th pick from the Heat. That's an interesting trade. Sending Taj back to the Thunder. But, like, why would they want to do this trade? They don't have any power forwards. But why would they want to trade for an old Taj Gibson? So that doesn't really make sense either. Uh, the Warriors. They wouldn't be able to do this trade straight up. But they do have... Yeah, no, their, their power forward position is kind of set. Uh, so not the Warriors. The Blazers. No, they have the 12th pick. That's a second round pick. Huh. So what other team that I'd say that looked intriguing? Uh, Pacers, the 19th pick. What's your power forward situation? TJ Leaf and Demontis Sabonis, but TJ Leaf is a free agent, and it says he doesn't want to resign. So I might do this, try and do this straight up. They don't want it straight up. Uh, who's under contract for us? Anyone I want? No, there's no one I want to trade. So we're not gonna get this straight up. We're not gonna get that trade done because they don't want it done. I want like, a, not I want a pick in the 20s, like 17. They actually have interest in him, but they do have John Collins and Paul Millsap. We'll see if they'll do this straight up. No, but they want a first round pick. I can't, I'm not trading a first round pick. We might have to go for a late 20 pick. 15 from the Hornets? No, first round pick amazing Mason I'm. I might have to go for like the 20s. I'm getting a bit too picky with Taj Gibson here. So let's see. Pick 20? Who has pick 20? Who has pick 20? 21 for the Jazz. Does no one have pick 20? Someone has pick 20. Uh, what the hell? Where's pick the Warriors? That nope. I'm trying to be realistic here. Sixers, no, they need shooters, not freaking Taj Gibson. The Celtics, 24. 24, they got Grant. Yeah, they could definitely use him, but they don't want him. Wow, is it gonna be really this tough to trade Taj Gibson? The Grizzlies are actually really interested. They are really, even though they have Jaron Jackson and Brandon Clark, I guess center position wise, I don't know. No, we're going to do this straight up. Just get rid of Taj Gibson. They wanted him. So, Isaiah Todd goes number one to the Orlando Magic. Number two to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Another point guard. They draft Cade Cunningham. Hey, I mean, we could make a splash and maybe grab like Colin Sexton from them. That's a possibility, man, if they're drafting all these guards. All right, third pick, OKC grabs Jalen Green. That's a good pick. Number four now. It's up to us. Let's see who's on the clock. Uh, what position do we need? I can't check our roster. Can no, I can't. Okay. Uh, point guard, Isaiah. Uh, we could use, yeah, we could use a point guard. Definitely. Even though Isaiah Thomas played great for us last year, we could use a young point guard. Uh, shooting guard is locked down with Luke Kennard and Scotty Lewis. Uh, small forwards locked down, I guess, with Jay Rich and Isaac Okoro. Power forward somewhat locked down. We got Christian Wood and Seku and centers locked down. So point guard is really what we're looking for here. So looking for a point guard. Is there any top point? There's not really any top point guards left. Cade Cunningham was it. Trey Jones, but I'm not taking him this early. Is there a way we could trade finder this pick and get Cade Cunningham? Is there a way? If there's a will, there's a way. They're not offering Cade Cunningham, but there's a... Do I want to work out a trade for Cade Cunningham? He would be really, really dope on this team. Can I trade for him, even though he's been drafted? Yes, I can. Or do we trade for Colin Sexton? He's more of a shooting guard, not a point guard. Oh, he's not. Yeah, he can't even trade. Wow, that's a lot of stars. They, wait. Uh, uh, we just got Cade Cunningham for the fourth pick for nothing. They just traded him straight up. I'm, I'm not going to argue with that. They may not be realistic. But I, you saw the stars. I thought that was going to be a disagree. It was three stars to like three and a, four and a half, something like that. They really agree. Wow, the Cavs are straight bugging. Who are they going to draft? A another guard. <laughs> they drafted another. I, this Cavs team's on something. We got Keith Cunningham. I'm not going to complain. Wow. Uh, three trade offers. Okay. Mason Plumlee, no. Bismack, no. Jeff Teague, no. <laughs> no. All right. Well, who's left here? 
whoever the hell that guy is. Uh, I mean, we could trade this pick. There's not really... I know no one here. <laughs> I know no one here, bro. Uh, let's try Let's see if we can... Oh, we already know that those are the three offers. Maybe the second round pick could get anything else. No, nope, that's that same offers. Okay, I guess we'll just draft someone. We'll just draft maybe the best guy available. Another point guard. Uh, Eduardo Chavez. He has... Do I just not... John Holland. Stephen Brown. Lance Thomas, Stephen Brown, G League. Wow, this. Wow. Hey, this dude's Joe Harris. Dan Lucas. He looks like a, he's 24. Yeah, that ain't happening. I was looking at the ceilings and stuff, and Dante Cunningham. Oh my god, they're so bad. I guess we'll draft this guy, Edward Chavez. He's 6'2. Uh, wow. Offense is D plus, and defense is F. He played awful. Hell no. Dude, these guys played like ass. Everyone here is ass. Oh my god. Everyone here is ass cheeks. Oh boy. Oh boy, yeah, we gotta get rid of this pick, man. We, we gotta get rid of this pick, bro. Uh, there's no way I'm keeping this pick. I'll trade it for Mason Plum. Wait, okay. I guess I'll just pick someone. I guess I'll I'll pick this guy. I mean, he's 22 and he'll be overseas for a year. But I want someone that can come in right away. He's a C minus, a power forward that we don't need. A small forward we don't need. I, I guess I'll pick up Edward, Eduardo. I'll pick up Eduardo Chavez. What's his overall? We'll check later. We'll check after the draft. I know I just hit that like five times. So we did get trade for Kate Cunningham. He's the highest overall in this draft. I really didn't know I was gonna be able to trade for him. I didn't. He's a six-seven point guard. Oh my god! And then they picked up Josh Christopher. Christopher, I can't speak. So we had what the twenty-second pick and sixty-one overall. Yeah, they, they, we couldn't have picked any worse than that. Honestly, they're all sixty overalls. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll sign him and send him to the G League, but I don't see him on this team for very long. Nerlens Noel, 7-7. Seven seven. Yeah, I think I'm going to bring Nerlens Noel back. It's only 7 mil. I'm definitely bringing Isaiah back, and I'm going to bring Dion back. Uh, player options. Kawhi declined, but he's not going to come to the Pistons. Luke Kennard, yes. Moses Brown, probably not. Kenrich Williams, definitely not. Uh, moratorium, we have Luke Kennard is free. He only wants 11 mil? Luke Kennard is not entered. What? I mean, you're not interested. You better be interested. You're coming back to the team. You're restricted. You're coming back to the team whether you like it or not. I don't know why he's angry. All right, well, Luke Kennard's coming back. I can tell you that much. So, point guard position's locked down. Shooting guard position. Every position's really locked down. Uh, shooting guard is going to be Luke Kennard. It is, no, we might have to trade him. I want to keep him, but if he's going to be a little pansy about this crap, he's going to be angry for no reason. We got Scotty Lewis, who's an 80 overall, so Josh Richardson's going to be our small forward. Isaac Okoro backing him up. We got Christian Wood and Sekou Dumbia. Uh, and then we got Wiseman and Noel. Our team is really just set. <laughs> we, we got enough. There's no one to sign. There's no need to sign anyone. I mean, we could sign some guys, uh, but there's not really, like, no one. Like, Derrick Rose, we already got rid of. He's an 85. He played good, but no one wants him. I mean, there's no, there's no one to sign. Ed Davis, Yogi Farrell, no. We just got to sign, like, fillers. These guys, I guess I'll bring them back then. I got to bring them back, whatever. I don't care. Why the hell does Luke Kennard... Am I going to have to wait just because he's not interested in signing? I'm going to have to wait for him? Whatever, this is just annoying, bro. 2K, you're just full of annoying. Uh, but I'm not going to sign Ball Ball. That's way too cheesy. RJ Barrett's... Ar he's already an unrestricted free agent. Nix, what are you doing? Why, why are these young guys unrestricted free agents? Why they just let them go? Especially RJ Barrett. What are you doing? <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna, like, there's no need to... I'm just gonna go past Moratorium. This free agency didn't <laughs> go as planned. At all. Uh, let's see where these guys... Kawhi went back to the Clippers. Mitchell to the Jazz, Tatum. Everyone went back to their respected teams, it looks like. No, De'Aaron went to the Knicks. That's why they got rid of RJ Barrett. They picked up De'Aaron Fox. Okay. Why does De'Aaron always leave the Kings? 
Well, no, I'm sorry. Why do the Kings never match De'Aaron Fox's offers? I don't know. Jonathan Isaac goes to the Grizzlies. Kendrick Williams, we signed him. And then that's it. So I'm going to sim a couple days in. Actually, I probably should in just in case. Luke Kennard gets an offer. Uh, players are going, man. Dennis Schroeder. He has 10 offers. Magic. Yeah, we don't need a point guard anyway, so there's no need. But Dennis Schroeder would be dope to have on this team. But we just don't need him. Bird rights. He's getting offers, so... I mean, he's got like seven offers. There we go. Three year for sign me up. You're coming back, but I don't care what you think. So sign players. Rudy Gobert goes to the Thunder. Oh, the Thunder get the third pick and they're building a super team all of a sudden. CP3, Shea, uh, I guess Steven Adams. No, they can't bring back Steven Adams. They got Rudy Gobert. So where'd Adams go? The Lakers. Oh, Lord. Derrick Rose to the Pelicans. Oladipo to the Kings. They replaced De'Aaron Fox with Victor Oladipo. That's actually not awful, but it ain't De'Aaron Fox. Uh, oh, no, they replaced De'Aaron Fox with Spencer Dinwiddie, my bad. Uh, and that's really Dennis Schroeder to the Magic. Julius Randle to the Spurs. Michael Porter Jr. to the Bulls. Okay, Jared Allen to the Spurs. Lloyd Markin to the Suns. Mavericks get Devontae Gr What is going on? Markel to the Hornets. Wow. Dude, I can't just say the deal we got on freaking Luke Kennard, 13 mil. 13 mil? Uh, wow. Wow. This has been an interesting free agency. So we're basically done. We're basically done with free agency. Sim it all. We got everyone we need. We got our team. This team's definitely not making the playoffs, but... Scotty Lewis is now... We have four players at 80, all tied. Scotty Lewis went up seven overalls because he spent the year in the G League. He's, wow, Scotty Lewis is going to be good. He might challenge Luke Kennard for that starting uh, shooting guard. Luke Kennard, your job isn't safe because you're not an 80 overall anymore, apparently. Christian Wood, 80. Josh Richardson, 80. Uh, Cade Cunningham, 80. Sekou's a 79. James Wiseman's a 79. Luke Kennard. Really, really good young team. Isaiah Thomas is regressing. He, I'm not sure. He might come off the bench, honestly. 76 overall. We might as well just start Cade Cunningham. Um, Summer League... I don't really care about the summer league. Uh, training camps. Uh, have CPU adjust rotation. Doesn't really matter. Uh, have CPU. Come on, let's go. Uh, we're gonna load a 2020. Do we? 2022. 2022 draft class we're doing. That's what we're doing. All right, training camps. Untap potential. We'll send that to. I guess Seiku Dumbia. Yeah, we'll send it to Seiku Dumbia. Uh, untapped potential. Do I want to send it to Dre Rich? No, I might do offensive fundamentals to Dre Rich. Yeah. Okay, and then untapped potential. I don't think Kate Cunningham needs it, to be honest with you. So I'll send it to, uh, Scotty Lewis, clearly. Isaac Okoro. I'll send it to Isaac Okoro. Advance to next season. We apparently had a full roster. Let's see what the line is going to be. Cade Cunningham. Scotty Lewis, they want to start over Luke Kennard. I don't think we're going to do that. But that, that could happen later in the season. Jay Rich. Um, Seiku Dumbia they want to start. That's not going to happen either. And then James Wiseman. So Christian Wood is going to get the starting spot. So is Luke Kennard. Uh, then the bench. Isaiah is not getting minutes. I don't know how I feel about that. But it kind of makes sense. Cade Cunningham 30. Luke Kennard 34. Jay Rich 34. Christian Wood 30. And James Wiseman, 34. We got Scotty Lewis as our sixth man with 27. Zayku with 18. Isaac Coral 17. And Isaiah Thomas, 16. I know he averaged 21 last year, but he wasn't playing 33 minutes a game. I mean, it had to happen. So, we have obviously no scoring options. On the fly lineups, Isaiah, not you. <laughs> Scotty Lewis, not you. We're going to have Seku and Nerlens Noel. Should I have Nerlens Noel or should I just make it James Wiseman since Noel isn't going to play? Not James. I will keep it no well. Who cares? All right. So we're going to sim this first game. And then we're going to end the video. And we win by three. Three points. CJ Warren went off. Oh, yeah. Because they don't have Victor Oladipo anymore. They have Jeremy Grant and Sabonis. Uh, Jay Rich, 25 points. That's what you love to see. Cade Cunningham, 21 in his NBA debut. Scotty Lewis off the bench, 18. He's coming for Luke Kennard's starting spot. Six for 18. Two for 10. Come on, Luke Kennard. Um, James Wiseman had a bad game. Isaiah Thomas actually played decent. I mean, shot decent. Isaac Okoro, not a good game. Seku, 13 rebounds. He only took four shots. 
Christian Wood only took one shot. He fouled out, didn't he? Yeah, he fouled out. So right now, Christian Wood and Luke Kennard, the two originals that I wanted to keep for this whole series, they're on the hot seat. I want to see one more game against the Heat. And we win by a lot. We won by 31. James Wiseman balled out. Cade Cunningham again. Luke Kennard, bounce back game. Dre Rich against his former team balled out. Scotty Lewis. Christian Wood. Bruh, you, you better start stepping it up. Seku, you better start stepping it up too. All right, well, I would love to sim more, but we have to save that for next episode. Through two games, uh, Cade Cunningham, the rookie, is our leading scorer, and then Josh Richardson averaging 21. So leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. It's going to be for me. GG.